It's a bit of a late upload today, but that's because there's been so much going on in the community. Call of Duty in the terms of development has seen a huge rare W that we haven't seen from them in a long time. Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 were announced today. I'm not going to talk too much about the actual news because everyone's probably seen it by now on Twitter. It's been in my Discord server for hours now, and you guys have most likely watched Call of Duty news YouTubers like Prestigious Key or Exclusive Ace cover all of the news and updates for the game. And they also talked about what to expect from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 for what has been leaked. And I just want to keep it real. We are so far out from the launch of these games that everything that they're talking about now could get completely changed in a couple months from now. If something doesn't work out development wise, it could get scrapped or a lot of people might build their expectations way too high for the game. And then when it launches, it's a little bit of a letdown. So I'm just being real. I'm just listening to the news so far. I'm not forming any opinions yet. I'm a little excited that Infinity Ward is taking over Warzone 2 and the development of it away from Raven. So we don't really know what to expect from that. Um, but they're being real and they're being honest about a lot of the issues that they've had development wise, where they're going to try and let actions speak louder than words. They didn't really try to come up with any excuses. They just said, hey, we know the game is in a really bad state right now. And coming out with season two, we are planning a bunch of updates. Also, it was a busy day just in general for news. McLaren released their Formula One car. So I watched that stream and it looks pretty nice. I don't even know if I'm allowed to show these or even talk about these officially yet uh new flavors uh grape and cherry limesicle 10 percent off use code wild let's just talk about cod and kind of the biggest issues that they've been having recently and it seems like a majority of it is coming from company wide i think everyone has heard about the activision blizzard scandal but now the developers of the game themselves are taking the blame i guess they aren't taking the blame they're just admitting fault and they're saying hey we know we messed up there's been a lot of development issues that we know you guys are having issues with as players that we are trying to fix and it is very hard to do so they weren't trying to make excuses on why development is difficult for them right now they just accepted responsibility which is a huge w that I hope this trend of not really the issues and them admitting fault, but them being more honest, I hope carries into the future. Cause I think it's just the more transparent a company is, the easier it is to like that company, like regardless of if they're doing good or bad things. And that's kind of, don't take that out of context. Cause obviously if Call of Duty continues to do bad things with development, the games are going to lack and it's not going to be fun for the players but i would much rather a company be open and transparent about what they're doing good and what they're doing bad than a company that's trying to hide all the bad stuff behind closed doors and smoke and mirrors so we don't get the full story and then because when we don't have the full story it leads to speculations it leads to more people disliking the game and disliking the company just because they're not being upfront and honest and i understand with business there's some aspect where you just can't be completely open but i think as developers it's good for them to be open and share what's going on inside the studio and kind of give us an understanding of what's going on so it's good that they're accepting responsibility and there's tons of plans and work to improve the game charlie intel today on twitter was just absolutely filled with tons and tons of news which you guys can go over there and check out once again i don't really want to get into it too much because i don't really do cod news and i feel like there's so many better sources to receive your cod news from long story short we'll just do a quick spark notes of it we have modern warfare 2 and warzone coming out that is going to be led by infinity war i don't think that's a huge shock to anyone i feel like a lot of the news today other than them admitting fault and why all these issues like the fov on console isn't the thing i think there was no real big shock other than them being honest with the state of the game uh there's some sort of new sandbox mode coming to warzone 2 so i'm assuming it's just going to be some sort of customs map it would be cool to see a forge mode kind of similar to what halo has on call of duty but once again we are so far out from the actual game's launch and any official trailers or information. I mean, I'm just taking everything with a grain of salt until we actually get official information because, because we've gotten some official information about what their plan of development is, and they've confirmed that the game's in alpha right now, but I think as most Call of Duty players know, a game being in alpha or beta doesn't really mean anything. 
I'm definitely anticipating this game coming out. I think it will be very cool to see a next generation of Call of Duty, which is what they're focusing on. They say they want to make drastic changes and improvements to the game. And regardless of what those changes are, I'm excited that they're trying something new, whether that is a positive new or a negative new. We won't know until the game actually comes out, but it'll be fun to sit down and play a new Call of Duty. There's been a new engine confirmed for the new Call of Duty games coming out this fall. I don't really know how to take that because on one end it could be a completely new engine and movement system that we've never seen in call of duty before similar to what modern warfare 2019 did where it was so revolutionary uh what i'm realistically expecting is just an upgrade of the engine so the imagine the engine we have now for modern warfare and vanguard but even more refined and even with some more changes there as well and hopefully some improvements but only time will tell um, but yeah, it's good to see Call of Duty have a rare W. Uh, I forgot to mention the gameplay in the background too. A lot of people have been talking about how the Itra Burst has been one of the harder assault rifles to get gold in the game. I don't see it. The attachments that I was running, we made this thing a one burst at close and long ranges. And then the lobby was a different story too. Like I got the easiest V2 rocket I've ever gotten before. And that's where I want to end off the video today is just a quick talk about skill-based matchmaking. They also, I mean, by they, I mean the developers of Call of Duty have said that they're trying to improve ways to have SBMM be less of an issue where skilled players aren't punished and bad players are protected and kind of favored and which I can see that being a pretty hard thing to balance right like you could have an ELO system like we see in Rocket League or in any competitive game but that destroys the entire casual part of Call of Duty that majority of the players love and play the game for. I did get off topic from skill-based matchmaking, but one thing I want to say is it definitely seems like in Vanguard, the skill-based matchmaking is super weak right now. I just don't know if it's me and my friends noticing that or if skill-based matchmaking has actually been toned down compared to what it was in Modern Warfare and Cold War. My gameplays on Modern Warfare and Cold War, the lobbies are pretty sweaty, but for some reason on Vanguard, it's just like casual Call of Duty. It's just, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of competition in the game. So I have no idea what's going on with SBMM. But with that being said, uh, just wanted to recap all the news that came out today, kind of share some light opinions on it. I'm still trying to be realistic. I don't want to go in depth and be like, oh, Modern Warfare 2 is going to be a bad game because X, Y, and Z. We'll have to wait. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'm about to head out. And if there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.